Three, two, one. Welcome to Antimatters. Hello everyone. Welcome to a nice relaxed episode on the Fidole Yinsis. Last episode, they were moved into a Wakushi S2 starter module. They chose it over their old nest, Cherry Hill, which was a great sign. So, Fidole fashion, they've grown in numbers. The gypsum layer is covered top to bottom in brood and workers. They're thick in places, all squashed in. The second chamber is also packed out. I think some have been forced out altogether and large numbers now congregate in the outworld. They are very patient animals and take their time gently manoeuvring around each other. They're definitely in need of an expansion. To complement the starter module, I got them an S3 hybrid module and a six-way water module. I used code ANTIMATTERS at checkout and got 10% off, and you can too. Just use the promo code ANTIMATTERS, no spaces. Using the code will help the channel and save you money. No more salesman's pitch though. With their numbers up and space at an all-time low, I'm expecting huge numbers of escapees. I've got the USB Hoover from eBay, a couple cotton buds and loads more behind me, and paper underneath them so I can see them. I've also let them cool down a little bit to hopefully calm them down. There's two ways to proceed I guess, slow and gentle or fast and rough. I prefer the latter. Higher chance of a full on boil, but less time for them to realize what's going on. So let's do it. In the open link to close it off. I'm going to link the water module onto the starter module and I'm going to link the S3 module before I've un clipped the other module from the nest. This way hopefully I won't have as many escapees. So we've got one escapee disconnecting the outworld and the cotton got in the hole okay so they're all stuck in now which is good. So I go to link the old outworld by taking out the cotton wool and a flood of workers pours out. It was nuts and I had to put the cotton back in. Loads were out now and I figured I could gently remove it from the nest through the hatch if I pushed it all the way in. There were so many ants out I had to engage the hoover. I got most of them and I put the water tube into the six way water module to prevent any more escapees. Time to unbung the nest. So I popped the lid on the S2 starter module and went to pull out the cotton. And oh my God, they went turbo and ran everywhere. Like they literally flooded out. Anyway, I quickly yanked the cotton out as fast as I could and engaged the USB Hoover from eBay again. It took me ages to hoover them up this time because so many had got out and they were like getting everywhere now. But I managed to get them, most of them with the hoover and then pulled out the cotton bungs and managed to mop up the remaining ones left. Although the cotton wall isn't ideal for the fedoles because they're so small they get all tangled up in it and you can't flick them off very easily sometimes. Anyway, all done and all the escapees were secured back in the nest. Such a relief. I hope they like their new module. I chose it because it's got a nice amount of low humidity standing space and a high moisture gypsum plaster section for brood development. I'm not sure if they, they'll split the brood over two nests or hoard it all in one. We'll have to find out.
as they grow. They started moving brood over after about 30 minutes, so I think they like it. Looks like they will split the brood as well. I think the Fidole Yeenses have a bright future. They're larger than my Fidole Paladula, so a lot easier to contain. They are going to need an outward expansion soon, but that's for another day. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and we'll see the Yeens in the Sugar Olympics, starting soon. Till next time, take care and bye.